Olá? This is bad. Lucky enough, I was able to get a taxi. All right, so I just made it out of the taxi. This is the most dangerous part right here. This whole road, people die here all the time. One gunshot to the head and I'm out. I gotta get the secret doorbell here. Vanas, gracias. What is up, everyone? So I finally made it through that crazy shebang. You're probably wondering what the hell was going on. That is the most dangerous area here in Lima. In Lima, Peru. I'm sorry. I'm at an area. I'm going to explain in a minute. But that is the most dangerous area. People die left and right through that whole area. One minute you could be walking and you might be the wrong hit. An assassin could just come up and pretty much lay a bullet in you and lay you out so that area is one of my most stressful areas getting through here especially with the riots there's bombs going off a bunch of people have already passed away during this whole event and it sucks and I'm kind of stuck in the middle of it but that's part of the whole adventure let's get into the video I am right now in the witch's area here there's a witch tomb where people come to visit I actually believe it's on this side thing is I'm strictly night vision sorry there we go strictly night vision right now and uh, I can't see too well so I might turn on the light but this is where I was hearing one of the creepiest things being out here was a creepy laugh and candies isn't that Hello? I'm trying to see if I hear it. A minute ago, right while I was starting the video, I did hear what sounded like someone yelling, but it ceased to happen again. This is the witch's tomb. It looks like they darkened it up too. Somebody came in with a chalk and darkened it up so you could read the name better. There seems to be an abnormally amount of liquid here and someone else has walked through there again people visit here all the time but i could never understand the amount of liquid here for some reason this looks like names here too start walking down this way you know what's interesting is that not only that you see this liquid here but right over here it looks like a recent footstep and that water there looks recent as well I was trying to see if I could get access into the big mausoleum grave that's right up at the top in the back there I might be able to go in today I don't know or tonight hola Arintas aquí? Georgina? ¿Estás aquí? Hello? If you guys see anything, let me know. Some more of a liquid here. Not sure what that is. It's just random spots of liquid. It feels cramped around this area. Kind of like like an uneasy presence, kind of. Or like you're expecting something to happen. Maybe that's because I'm just at a graveyard. Georgina? Hello?
Georgina! There's a screen. And there is nobody out here. Look at this. That's a bird. See? a legit scream or a yell on the outside. I think sometimes people ask me in the comments, why do I always say hello after I hear something? And sometimes you don't know. Like, I've, there's been times before where I would say hello and it's an actual person uh, at the graveyard. It's the ones that don't respond back that really creep me out. That was pretty haunting. I'm going to see if I could check the other side of this mausoleum just to kind of give it a little make sure that it's not echoing from a neighboring mausoleum next next door. But that was creepy. It's like the deeper I go, the more quieter it gets. Look at the size of this place. Tomorrow they're actually opening up this tomb. There's gonna be a huge ceremony tomorrow. There's a whole mausoleum that continues on in the bottom there. Isn't that a beautiful place? It says Bolognesi. Bolognesi. These are like all the famous presidents that were buried here and people from the war. Holy shit. I hear kids. I'm gonna leave that here. I'm gonna start by knocking. What the? What just happened? The light just flickered. I'm literally about to start knocking on the thing again. I mean, dim it. The light just turned off on this thing. Hola? Alguien? There is literally nobody out here. And this whole place lights just turned off on the inside, I think. Because I don't there's no light switches on the outside. That was on the inside. So check this out. Look what I found up there. See, that makes me a little bit nervous because people sleep in this graveyard all the time. A lot of them are bandits. Some of them are just, I mean, if they're breaking in at night, it's to steal bones mostly or do something weird. And then I found these footsteps here. going to. They look fresh. It's like it's still wet. Kind of dies off somewhere around here. Still back towards the front area though. So I'm not going to be in this area for too long here. But if you look here, let me zoom in. Somebody broke into this tomb here and grabbed all the bones. Now if you notice, the skull is always missing. I say these in my other videos as well. But the skulls are missing. That's what they use for rituals. That's unfortunate. I feel so bad. These are one of the most beautiful tombs around the front area. This is the 
area where I seen a person in the back there sitting and I think they were crying. Hello? Looks like there's something else over there now. I'm not too quite sure what that is. It is quiet too. I'm wondering if the person that was here the last time is the witch that they're seeing coming in here stealing bones and stuff. Hola? looking through the night vision with you guys so I could see anything. to be careful because I did hear what sound like a woman talking and there is what looks like someone standing there at least from my perspective it looks like someone just standing there not even moving an inch but uh, I'm gonna go back in again because I, wanna, I guess that's the point of this all is just to go check it out but um, it got quiet and the whistling is haunting. I'm gonna see if I could go down the staircase area. Turn off the IR for a second. I 
got a howl and a ball just came rolling down. Something moved it. And I could hear someone yelling in the distance. The whistle's back. freaking out right now. Something or someone is messing with me here. This just came rolling down the sidewalk there. And I'm hearing a whole bunch of weird movement sounds. But it sounded like it fell. Hold on, I'm gonna turn off my IR. See what I can see down there. So nervous right now. I'm gonna come down the stair entrance. footage to my, my night vision. Give me a second. There's a dog nearby. I don't know where he's at, but I'm going to stay low for a second. Hold on. Update. I might have sprained my ankle just a little bit. I fell down the staircase and I'm so concerned about the I started walking, my foot started aching a little bit. So I, I did get out of that area, um, only because if there was somebody out there, I can't really run away that much because I'm kind of in pain for a little bit. Sorry if I'm blaming you guys. But uh, at this point now, I'm gonna head to uh, the area where I found a lot of the dolls that they do inside this mausoleum. It's ironically quiet. in there and I shouldn't have touched it. I just thought about it just now. Let's hope, let's hope I don't, <clears throat> yeah this hurts a little bit. So don't fall down the staircase. In here I do not want to touch anything. This place always changes. As I get down in here. See if 
there's anything new here. Looks like a kitty thing. So that way, a cat. Here's some of the remnants of the old voodoo doll that I seen here last time. Oh. And some more pictures. Hola? Hello? Hello? What the hell was that? That hat freaked me out. Just a little bit. Holy shit. Another gate here with more feathers. But what the hell was that sound? I finally made it to the front entrance, or one of the entrances. I'm gonna see if I can end the video here because I cannot go outside with these cameras. Like, I'm gonna put it away. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and wrap this up now because outside there is really dangerous. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. I'm sorry I kind of got hurt on this one. I might have sprained my ankle a little bit going down the staircase. And plus, I'm kind of under the clock because there is a riot going on and half the roads are blocked off. So I, I don't want to leave too late to the point where I can't get a Uber or a taxi back home. But let me know if you guys have seen anything in the videos that I haven't. Shout out to my patrons. I love you and I miss you guys and the rest of you. So that being said, I will see you on the next big adventure. Let me know if you've seen anything in this video that I may have missed, by the way. Bye, guys. Shoo.